Right, just a little bit of an update for you when it comes to the palm seeds. Um, I'm outside because it's a really nice warm April day. But um, yeah, the seeds indoors, we've got the sable miners, sable palmettos, and Washingtonia filibuster, they're all growing away nicely. And if you can uh, recall, back in August last year, so eight months ago, I did buy some uh, Brahea Amata seeds, which uh, are here. And I, I know you shouldn't ever give up on palm seeds. They take, they can take years, literally two or three years sometimes to germinate. But these ones I sort of gave up, sort of, uh, I don't know, begin the March, I, just sort of took them off the heat mat and just put them on a little box next to a radiator and thought, well, they ain't no good, they're dud seeds. But as we can see, I just checked them a couple of days ago and they've actually got two sprouting. I don't know how well you can see, this is quite bright. And uh, yeah, I should have checked them more regular because uh, that's picking up. We've got a whole twisted load of roots in there. So I think there are 10 seeds in here and we've got two germinated, so they're still, still a win. So I've got the cam on the tripod, I'm gonna try and get these out carefully because the Breha, Breheia Amata doesn't like root disturbance, we know that. So I'm gonna get them out very carefully and then I'll pick up the camera after that and we'll pot them up. So I've just got a, small storage box here and mix some uh, some pot and mix which is sort of fairly free draining substrate it is a good amount of perlite in there probably 40% perlite um, maybe about 20-30% straight compost and the rest is cocoa core so it'll be free draining and should dry out pretty quick but hold on to a little bit of moisture Nice aeration around the roots. <clears throat> Bearing in mind that the Brahea Amata is a sort of arid stroke desert palm, so we don't want to rot the roots off. But on the other hand, we do want a bit of moisture in there because they've been uh, germinated in a bag. So they, they've uh, grown, grown as they are in uh, the humidity. So we've got a couple of pots here, which are uh, fairly deep, so I'd say 10 inches deep. So we're gonna whack them straight in there. So I'm gonna carefully open the bag up and see if we can get them out without damaging them. So again, I can't really see the viewfinder while I'm doing this, so you have to bear with me if I'm not getting it in frame for a second or two. Just trying to lightly break up the soil without disturbing the roots too much because they have wrapped around a bit in the bag. Right, so there's one roots totally tangled up as we can see. This one's a little bit better because it's, uh, where are we? The roots have uh, gone on a straight line, so that sort of helps a little bit. But yeah, good job I caught them when I did. So we have got a little green sprout on each of them. So I'll just lay them down there and I'll see if I can do it one handed, pop them up. Right, so we've got our two seedlings. We've got our two pots. So again, these took approximately eight months to germinate. State of them roots. Obviously, I'm not going to play about with them. 
made a slightly too big a hole for that one. What we'll do is just very gently grab some more soil out of here. Try and get it upright. So hopefully they uh, the roots will find their way down. You want a fairly deep pot for these uh, or anything that's sort of with big seeds I'd say. Excuse that, I don't know, we, we do live quite near the fire station, we quite often get uh, fire engines go past. Right. So yeah, anything with a bigger seed, you can guarantee it's gonna have a, gonna want a bigger, deeper pot just to get its roots down, so we're gonna do a big tap root. So I know it looks like I'm filling this pot right to the brim, but once I water this, that's going to go down a good inch or so. I'm not going to, I'm not going to press it down at all because that's going to possibly damage the roots. So we won't be doing that. So we've just literally got the the pink, pink, the green tip of the palm sticking out. We'll get the other one in. one's going to be a little bit more tricky because sort of the root has gone to the side and obviously we'll centre it in the pot so this is the, what we'll look at I'm going to gently just curl it round a bit we'll get some more soil in there just to straighten out after Hopefully them tap roots will find their way down and it's not a big deal if uh, you know your, your first spike leaf is a little bit of an angle because this is going to be because I've twisted the roots around a bit but um, obviously it will find its own way to upright. So literally there we go look we just see the little green shoot on the top there that's all I'm going to do with them I'm going to give them a good water and then I'm going to put them indoors on a windowsill they don't need a, a huge amount of heat at this stage but they do want fairly good light so I think room temperature should be fine around sort of the like this time of year sun comes in the window and I'm not talking sort of a south facing window, I'm talking I've got a west facing window. So it will warm up a little bit, so it'll warm the pot up and that'll just keep the you know ambient room temperature at night. So that should be should be adequate for that. So we've got two germinations out of the ten seeds we've got, so I will put this back on the heat mat now, or I may well just put it where the uh, where they were just next to the radiator, maybe it's the uh, fluctuating heat rather than a, a solid heat, which, you know, there's a lot of theories when it comes to germinating palm seeds, whether to um, drop the temperature at night. I know bananas and certain palms do appreciate that. That seem to help the germination and, you know, that is sort of a natural rhythm of day and night. So, yeah, I mean, in this case, it seems to have seem to have worked so we're obviously with them radiators coming on and off over the last month um yeah it's just sort of let them cool down a bit in between the heat and maybe that's what's done it but or well, whether i just got lucky so we've got two we've got another eight in there so i'm going to put them back in the same situation and see any more if any more germinate all right so there's a little update like I say, don't give up. These are these have been eight months. I've had uh, a sable miner take a year and a half. In fact, I've had a bootier odorata, which took nearly two years to germinate. Um, so yeah, obviously we've got them in a baggie, which is what I normally do to save space. You know, maybe once a week, just open the bag up, let some air exchange, and make sure that's uh, uh, adequate. Um, moisture level but apart from that yeah 
keep them going and you may be rewarded. Right, let's leave it there. Thanks for watching.